hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again so in this video we are going to talk about the discussion about the second problem of lead code weekly contest 332 and the question name is the count the number of fair pairs okay and before this video i already uploaded the solution for the first uh, question find the array concatenation value and i know that the, key, uh, the first question is very easy okay but if you are beginner and you have any doubt on any uh, implementation kind of issue logic kind of issue so you can watch that video and the link of that video is coming in the i button okay so let's talk about the second problem and before that if you are new to channel and uh, or you uh, didn't su subscribe till yet then the, just hit the subscribe button you will get the video notification for like code for slate code and different problem set related to cscs and many other things as well okay okay so uh, let's jump to the question here it is given that you have an integer array zero based indexing okay integer array nums of size n and two integer lower and upper so it is like uh, range okay return the value of fair pairs such that uh, nums of i plus nums of j lies between the lower and upper bound okay so it is it is like a similar to a range and the sum of the uh, you have to choose two number and the first condition is actually uh, not considerable if you if you uh, think about it now like let's suppose you have two number uh let's suppose we have an f1 to just take the first example i think zero one seven four four five okay zero one seven four and four and five if you think that key, uh, we should think about the first constraint or the first condition then i think you are wasting time choose any two random number from the uh, array let's suppose you choose four and seven then in this array one number index index for the one number is greater than the index of the first number like one number come before and second number will come after this number then j should be this and i should be this then first condition is already satisfied for every pair if you choose any random pair okay first condition is already satisfied so don't think about the first condition so let's jump to the second condition directly and it is saying that you should choose two number a pair at the, uh, this is mentioned in the question as well find the number count the number of fair pairs okay so we should find the pair such that sum of the value of pair like sum of the value of number of pair uh, is lie between the given range lower to upper okay that is the first point uh, i want to note like if you uh, think about the this question in the second uh, in, in the second way then you will find that this question is not much that difficult okay so here the problem uh, sorted out like this a plus b less than equal to upper and lower okay let's change this question a little bit more uh, i want to figure out this question as you should find two number you should find two position let's suppose i uh, i dash and j dash okay i dash and j dash let me just erase it i dash and j dash okay and for a array you should find okay for for every number for every number you should find the first number in the array after that such that number of nums number of i num, like the value at i and the value at j okay let's suppose this is i dash not j the number nums of i nums of any nums of i dash is just greater than or equal to lower means i want the first number i i want the first number from where the sum 
will begin come in the range given range lower and upper okay and in the second case as I, I just want to find the last number that is called uh, let's suppose jds less than equal to upper okay if you think these two conditions separately you will find this is this can be done simple uh, this can be done easily via the binary search binary search or or you uh, by using lower or upper bound you can say okay so what the conclusion here is we should do we have to do do uh, two binary search one to find one to find lower bound and one to upper bound okay and for this we need sorted array so before applying binary search we should do sort uh, sorting because it is not mentioned that the array is already sorted or not okay so first step is do sorting second is uh, do to binary search and then let's suppose we 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 get the point i dash and j dash right in the sorted array for the for the value of i for the each and every number we get i dash and j dash I mean the first place where uh, sum of nums i nums i dash is greater than or equal to lower and less than or equal to upper we got the range our range okay then this then the count count of pair is what just j minus i plus one j dash minus i dash plus one okay so like what i i'm doing is just uh, taking each and every pair from uh, for for let's suppose zero uh, okay, let's go through the first test case 0, 1, 4, 4, 5, 7. 0, 1, 4, 4, 5, and 7. Okay, so for 0, I just need to find the first place where the sum of uh, the number plus 0 is lie between range, and our range is 3 to 6. Okay, so here we find that i equal to so uh, j equal to 2 is the first place from where the sum begin lie in the range and then uh, uh, i equal to 4 j equal to 4 is the last place okay so we can we can find this two place via any search okay and then we can say that 0 0 4 0 4 0 5 is the three pair okay so just uh, count so so to count this pair we just need to do what 4 minus 2 plus 1 this is the number of pair for the first index and similarly we will do the same thing for the rest index as well okay so this can be done in figo of n n for iterating each and every index and we, uh, in between we are uh, using two binary search means log n then the whole complexity of the solution is n log n and according to like uh, the constraint is given is uh, 10 for 5 and i uh, and i think you know like 10 for 5 range is see, n log n uh, solution is acceptable for this range and i already explained this kind of uh, like the problem uh, for which uh, constraint up to what limit of uh, constraint complexity is acceptable for the like the code for solid code solution or then uh, you if you if you watch that video the link is coming in the i button you go and watch okay okay so uh, like our whole strategy is clear we have to do uh, sorting first then we uh, sorry uh, binary search and just need to count the pair okay let's go through the code uh, here just I, I i calculated the size and then sort the array okay and the, you you have to notice that like the return type of the function is long long so just take all the values all the val uh, variable type as long long to avoid the error okay so i took everything as long long and uh, <clears throat> for each and every index for let's suppose zero uh, we have to find the uh, i i dash and j dash after that so uh, my my uh, limit of the first and second point is i plus one 2 n minus 1 
and I did the binary search two times for the finding the first value and this is, this is stored in the temp1 okay so I initialized temp1 is int max let's suppose uh, this value I, uh, I didn't uh, like no no uh, pair is for this i let's suppose uh, for any any value uh, no suitable pair we we are able to find then temp1 is equal to int max so don't uh, calculate the binary search for the second part just need to continue here okay so i initialize temp1 and temp2 with int max and do the binary search for the first and temp value and where the we find the value uh, like the uh, i does i uh, i stored in the temp1 and do the remaining part and do the same kind of thing for the second part as well and after this I just added the number of pair in the answer variable and return the answer variable as well. Okay, this is the requirement of the question, I think. And uh, yeah, okay, that's that's all about this question. And uh, if you have any doubt in this question, explanation, code, anything, uh, just comment me below, and uh, you will find the question link and uh, code of this question plus Discord server link plus top mid services link in the description box okay go check out this link and you will find uh, you will find like some playlist link as well in the description so go check out uh, the channel as well okay bye bye